Thank you for checking in on the OMA podcast and videocast. We're going to do our best to provide great ideas, best practices shared by the OMA team members and partners. Hope you enjoy. Okay, so Kevin, here we are on the OMA Today Show. Is that what we should call it? The OMA Today Show? You like that? <laughs> All right, so uh, this is the, the kickoff call for this first audio cast. Um, working with you to share uh, sort of the best practices, quick update to the OMA partners. We're going to share this generally through the uh, toolbox, through Boss System. So, um, Kevin, um, if, any, if anybody doesn't know who I am, my name is Mike Swigert, and um, I'm here with Kevin McCurry. Kevin, could you um, give a quick update on, in general, what your responsibilities are when it comes to OMA and sort of what's been keeping you busy for uh, the last month or so? Sure. Well, um, my job, if, you, you know, if we haven't worked together, is to help develop business between our membership. Um, to come in, supply some tools, some resources, work with your sales teams, um, and, and figure out ways in which we can penetrate the market on a member-to-member -member basis to help you, the member, drive business. I'm part of your team when I join you. I'm not out there to sell on my own. I'm there to sell with you and, uh, and through you. So um, I look forward to having the opportunity to work with each and every one of you at some point in some way. Um, over the last couple months, we've been, been active engaging members and, and looking at ways in which we can help drive business in the marketplaces. I've uh, been on a number of visits uh, in the field with, with some of the folks, which have been very, very productive, um, creating some opportunities out in the Seattle area, uh, Portland area. Um, we spent the last week engaging with, with some of our membership, finding out how we can be of value, Doug Hollingshead and myself, and looking at ways that, that we can help them drive business. What can we do to, to be a value to them? Not just throw up and show up, but try to, to fine tune it, to be a little bit more of a laser beam into what they need in their markets to help drive some business. So it's, um, I'm, a, I'm a resource for the members um, and we'll do whatever I can to help them drive business. You touched on it just a, a little bit, but I want you to go a little bit deeper. What are you finding at, at, at this stage of OMA? What are you finding that you and you, maybe you and Doug, or, or even the whole OMA team, what are you finding are the best ways you're able to help the OMA partners right now? Well, part of it is, uh, is helping them look at what, what opportunities are there, putting a plan in place. We spent some time putting sales plans in place, looking at some strategic sheets to, to help focus on some of those accounts. But I think it's, it's really just helping them take a look at their marketplace um, and seeing where we can start. You know, this isn't, uh, and I can go from zero to 60 overnight. Uh, there's a lot of places where we just take a step, move forward. What's that look like? Um, so helping them, you know, get a lay of the land. Another way is helping them connect in with other members that have done these things where, you know, they want to do something that one of our folks have already done. So it's connecting those guys together, helping them talk, helping them share. Because again, one of our greatest assets is, is our best practices, is our member to member sharing. And uh, so we've been facilitating that as well. Um, you know, and, and then listening to them, what tools do they need when they're out there with their client, with their customer? What is it that, they, that they're being asked for that they don't have access to or, or sometimes taking something we have and, and, and fine tuning it, tweaking it for a, a custom presentation. But, um, you know, the biggest thing is, is be intentional, not just, you know, if we keep doing the same things we've been doing, same results are going to happen. So, you know, sit down, let's look at what's going to take to, to move the ball forward. And then little by little, and we you know, our job is to provide those services, those resources and the collaboration. And that's what we've been doing. That's great. What would it be? So as you're finding member partners that maybe haven't done a lot of uh, OMA work, you know, where they're, they're sort of getting out, out of their comfort zone, what are some of the first really good first steps they could take? You mentioned sort of like other member outreach. Is that a good place to start? Or where do you think the best place to start is? Well, a lot of times it starts with leadership, with ownership. They've got to say we're committed to, to being that kind of, of company where they see the value in their business driving some of that national platform work. So when there is the, the buy-in at the top levels, then it's coming in and saying, okay, 
let's not try to, to, you know, as Doug Holland said, his famous, his famous line is, I don't want to boil the ocean. Don't try to boil the ocean. And that's what we don't want to do. We don't want to come in and try to be everything to everyone overnight. Let's look at one account. Let's look at one target. Let's look at, at one opportunity, at one customer that is low hanging fruit you have a great relationship with, but not doing anything outside your marketplace with them. And let's really work together and try to get the ball to roll forward on just one of those. And then success will breed success. So if we can have some movement forward on, on one like that, it gets people going, hey, this isn't so bad. This wasn't so hard. Um, and I think part of the other aspect of, of hesitation is I don't know how to present it. I don't know how to present it. So, you know, over the last couple of sales meetings, we've given them some tools, given them some directions and ideas on how to do that. But the other part of it is, as we did in Seattle, bring me out, put me in front of people with you. You set the stage and, and you can learn as, as I'm talking through it. So um, it's those kinds of things that, that you know, Take the first step. You can't you can't start swimming until you put your foot you know your first foot into the water. So I love it, Kevin. To okay, I mean, obviously um, I, your passion is is unmatched. Um, so let's go back into ex exactly this forum that we're on right now. We kind of want to share with this being the the kickoff one for Oma. Um, I know that this is sort of a intercommunication. This isn't a uh, mass publication. This is literally designed to be for OMA partners, by OMA partners. So talk to me about what your main goals are for this platform as we do these podcasts slash audio casts for the members. Well, the platform is a gen in general is to be a tool, a resource, have a, have be a, a depository for a bunch of things that they need to help them drive business. This whole thing is about driving new revenue. So you're talking so, about the, you're talking, you're going into the toolbox then. Yeah, I, the whole thing. And, and, yeah. and this podcast okay. being part of it okay. um, is just, another aspect of that we want to bring to the membership topical content that that we can you and I can talk about can share ideas bring some things that you're seeing out there that I'm seeing out there that that they can they can gather and, and do with as they they see fit for their individual members uh, memberships um, but I think it's it's really to um, it's it's to, to, to get them to see things outside of what their market may be showing them. Sometimes you get so close to the fire, you really can't see what's going on outside of it. And I think this podcast can help people understand that as we travel um, in our markets and outside of our markets, in our industry and outside of our industry, that there, there are things that are going on that may benefit them. So if we can talk about those things, share those ideas, that's fantastic. The other part of it is we'd love to get some of our members part of these podcasts. You know, get them on here, sharing some of their ideas, some of their successes, um, we've got some great, great members, um, that have, have a lot that they could, they could share with and, and, and assist, you know, those that are, are trying to get better at this. So, um, I see, see this podcast taking on a couple faces. I love it. I love it. Okay. So, uh, shifting gears then to the sales meetings in Clearwater and Las Vegas, can you give a quick recap? You know, what were some of the big takeaways? What were some of the main, um, topics that were covered, um, you know, what did, what did you learn during, during those two shows? Well, um, I think it was, it was a good launch for a number of, of different things. And one of that being we were able to announce the toolbox. And the toolbox is, is something that I think you and I are both very proud of, and it's going to only get better. So we were able to launch that. That was very important. We presented them with a lot of new materials. Um, they've been wanting some marketing materials. They've been um, asking for some, some specific pieces and, and uh, resources. And I think we we delivered on some of that and, and we're continuing to work on more of that. I think the other part of it is, was your presentations out there on digital marketing and, um, and, and social media and, and giving them ideas, little things they could do without, you know, again, don't boil the ocean, just take a step. And one of the things that I talked about out there was, you know, and, and, and you, you, you talked about, and, and I reinforce is the simplicity of little video, personal videos. Um, it makes a world of difference. It takes a logical, into an emotional um, type of, of connection. And, and I think those things are important. And, you know, um, you know I, I, they left there, the feedback we're getting is, is great content, great information. Um, we took the first one in Clearwater, learned a little bit about the flow of it, learned a little bit about, you know, the pieces and parts of it, not the content was the same, but I think the one in Las Vegas um, had a little bit, had a overall, felt a little bit better in the way that it flowed for a day and a half. Um, but again, that's based upon you know, our feedback. And, and for me, I'm, as I, 
is I talk with the SRTs on our monthly calls and when I get a chance one-on-one -on -one when I'm in the, in the, in the uh, uh, market, it, it's, I, we need their feedback. We need member feedback. And that's how we're going to get better. And so hopefully, you know, a tool like this and other things we're doing will we'll encourage them to do that. Okay, great. Great. And we'd be remiss on what's happening in the, the market right now if we didn't share a couple tips to the people that are either watching or listening when it comes to just sort of like some really cool creative ways to touch the customers. And you, you talked a little bit about it just a second ago about doing a personal video. Do you want to kind of share a little bit about, about how, how you run that play? Yeah, I, I think it's really critical. As you look right now with, with what companies are doing to protect themselves from the coronavirus, the things they're doing with their own organizations, how they're, you know, a lot more remote work, a lot more um, of, of, of disconnection that isn't there. You can't see people face to face the same way you did before. They're not as accessible. We've got to continue to figure out a way to keep that emotional connection, to keep that personal touch. As I said about the, the videos, it's a, it's a great time to do that because we can send, we, we all have the, the, the email addresses or the cell phone numbers for the people that we need to reach out to. Send them these kinds of videos. I can, I can assure you most people won't be doing it and it will make a difference. You want to, you want to make an in right now. You want to have an emotional connection. That's one tool I think that's a home run. So again, encourage everyone that, that hasn't done that to, to try it now and mm -hmm. what happens. So just to kind of uh, reiterate to everybody that's watching the, um, if you have your, uh, your cell phone out, you, this is just the sort of the one one right? You literally go to your, your, uh, phone application, you put it on video, you, uh, put it on selfie mode for video. This is for all my iPhone people out there. So if you kind of see what's happening right there, you literally just uh, pop on, you just hit record and guys, messages that you can share people are looking very deeply for a personal connection empathy right we're all going through a lot of uncertainty right now so the concept of saying i mean i just wanted to shoot you a quick note i know we haven't been able to uh meet up face to face but i want to let you know that you know as soon as this is over i'm taking you to lunch or you know hey let's let's get back on top of that project or um, I want to review those plans with you. Let's, let's schedule another appointment to do that. But use uh, 10 to, um, I like 10 to 18 seconds. You'd be surprised how much you can cover in 10 to 18 seconds. If you can text it, that's really the best way to send it. Um, I, I believe that you're going to get about really close to 100% open rate, especially right now. That's one. I really, really, really like those 10 to 18 second personal videos. Number two, like the platform that Kevin and I are on right now, we're using a, a platform called Zoom. There are ways to host meetings. Um, I, I, I highly recommend anybody that's watching this right now, maybe schedule a meeting for like 9.45, 10.45, 11.45. A lot of people are going to be on scheduled calls at the top of the hour. Schedule a 15 minute education on 15 minutes on um, how to plan your next move. 15 minutes, invite eight uh, facility directors. E invite a, uh, a, a company that you're doing a lot of work with and host them for a 15 minute update. Let them do a quick little 15 minute educational piece, invite them. And those little things like that, if you have a client and you know their home address, listen, this is not creepy. Send them a gift through Amazon. Send them a dozen chocolate chip cookies. Try to find it. Guys, during this time where we are right now, touches like personal video, hosting 15-minute educational pops, or sending something, a, a, something personal to them during this time is going to be one of those things that, that is going to, if you can do it from your heart, it's going to be something that your client's never going to forget. So it's going to be really, really important, which reminds me, Kevin, I need your home address because I want to send you some cookies. So <laughs> chocolate chip will do, be just fine. Chocolate chip it is. All right, guys. So um, we covered a bunch on this, uh, on this call today, and I don't want to go on much longer, but is there any other little tidbit you would like to um, share, Kevin? Um, yeah, and, and this word is a word that I use quite often, and it's be intentional. 
if we want to make a difference, if we want to change the way that we have, you know, that we drive our success, then we've got to do something different than we did yesterday. So it doesn't have to be huge, but sit and look at your business, be intentional about making some change that will, that will move you in a way that you not before. One of these three little tips, looking at a customer, asking a question of that customer that you never asked before, but be intentional. I love it. Thank you, Kevin. All right. You're welcome. My pleasure.